The first problem, you know, I claim that everything that you ever needed to know about probability, you can learn from a bag of marbles. It's marbles or marbles. Okay. So in this bag, what do you guys notice? Ah, I I sometimes think it's I think I'm in French. Uh, <laughs> France, <laughs> okay, not marbles, it's marbles, okay, so in this bag, how many marbles do you have? Six yellow, four green, two blue, for a total of how many? Twelve marbles, is that true? So this is how many are in your sample space if you're selecting a marble. Now, go back to the language. It's going to say, if you select a marble, I want us to talk about this for a second. What does that mean? How many marbles are you selecting from a bag? Good, because if somebody says to you, can you give me an apple or can I have a dollar, that a or that an is referring to what? To just one. Okay? So I want to point this out, that you're selecting one marble, just, just to point this out, because Today we might get to talk about selection of more than one item and I'm going to prepare you for that, okay? So you're going to select one marble from the bag. The first question says, what's the probability of what? Selecting a blue marble. So the probability that you select a blue marble, isn't that found by determining the number of blue marbles in the bag divided by the total number of marbles? Is that right? So how many blue marbles are in a bag? Two, okay. Is that true, two? Out of how many marbles? Twelve. What does that reduce to? One over six. One six, okay. Notice this, let's note. What is this value approximated to the nearest thousandths position? Three decimal places. What does your calculator say? Zero point what? One six six or six seven? Seven. Good, because remember, I think the six continues, right? So the thousands, tenths, hundred thousands is here, approximated one point six seven. Okay. As a percent, this is the decimal representation of one six, but as a percent, what percent is this? It's what? 16.7% good. Okay? So here's what this feels like and means. That 16.7% of the marbles in the bag are what color? Are blue. However, the probability of selecting a blue marble is 1.6 or 0.167 approximated as a decimal answer. This answer is a percent, it's not a probability. Okay, you guys okay with this? I want to point that out because that's an important detail. Um, what some people do on a test is they write everything that I do, which is okay, but they don't necessarily know which one's the answer, which is not okay. So if you're ever asked this question, what is the probability, what answer do you give? Well, either 1-6, a reduced fraction or 0.167 decimal provided they tell you what to approximate. Never give this answer as a probability. It's a what? Percent. Okay? If they ask you for percent, then what do you give? Percent. Okay? So it's just it's just giving what somebody asked for, and that's really important. You know, that's very important. Okay, good. Let's look at the next problems. Oops, or part two, if you want. Green, what's the probability that it's green? Well, what, what's the definition? The number of green marbles out of the total number of, of marbles that are in the bag. 
So how many green marbles are in the bag? Four. How many marbles do you have? What does that reduce to? One third, a reduced fraction. Here is your answer as a probability. Approximated as a decimal is 0.333, I think. Is that true? OK. Now, as a percent, although they didn't ask you, I want to point out, this is 33. what? 3%. OK? So 33.3% of the marbles in your bag are green. OK, is that easy? Good. The next one, C, what do we select now? Non what? Probability, you select a non-blue marble. By definition, I have to determine the number of non-blue marbles in the bag divided by the total number of marbles. How many non-blue marbles are there? How did you deduce that there's 10? Well, if there's two that are blue, the rest are what? Non-blue. 4 and 6 is 10. So it's 10 over 12, which becomes 5, 6 as a reduced fraction. Is that right? What is this as a decimal? Point what? 0.833. Anybody second that? OK. And again, note as a percent, just to note, this is 83.3 what? Percent. So this is your percent answer. I labeled percent. And that's to communicate to you that 83.3% of the marbles are not blue. OK? All right, what's the next one? All right, let's see. The probability you select a red marble. That's found by determining the number of red marbles divided by the total number of marbles in your bag. How many red marbles are in that bag? How many? Zero. Zero. Good. So where does that go? How many marbles are in the bag? So what is zero divided by 12? Zero. OK. What does that mean about the event? What does a probability of zero indicate about any event? What's the event? Is the event the value zero? No. The event is what? What's the event? You guys have to tell me. I know you guys know. You just. You get shy, you never want to talk, you know that their camera's rolling, so you don't even want to. Right? So what's the event in this question? Okay. The probability is zero, but what is the event? What's the event? Mm -mm. Right? What, what, what event are we talking about? Selecting a what? Red marble. So what does that mean? That the event, ladies and gentlemen, the event is impossible. Okay, A probability of zero means that that event is impossible. Now think about the event. This should make sense because of the fact that are there any red marbles in the bag? No, so you, so you better believe that if you select marbles from that bag, that you're not going to select a red marble because why? They're not there. Ah, I keep, am I, am I back in France? Oh, really? It's Elias. Huh. I always get that wrong. Are you sure? It's, it's like marbles? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Huh, so I did have it right, huh? Mm, thank you. Yes. So if you were having to ask and you put some answers, would you put zero or would that be wrong? If they if they ask you to 